Hi, I'm Jay. I'm from this year. I'm, a, I'm an artist who works mainly with ceramic. So when I was in NAFA, we were able to ch uh, choose painting, we would choose pre-making, Chinese painting and so on. But ceramic is to me a medium that mainly very practical because I feel like okay I can try out something which if I'm not in school I couldn't because I have all the facility of the real throwing you can make uh, pots, you can make cups. I thought that real throwing part interests me. And apart from that, I, to, to me ceramics can do a lot of things similar to pre-making, painting and sculpture because of how versatile the medium is because you can make print on the ceramic space, you can uh, sculpt the ceramic like uh, other uh, sculpting media and, and, and even you can paint um, ceramic. So I, I see this as a very, very, uh, a lot of things to experiment on this medium. So, which is why I hit on to uh, pick this as my major. When you look at those work in museum, which is very traditional, uh, ceramic medium used for utility purpose and the shapes of all of this uh, vessel. In fact, very contemporary in a way that is very new, it's very fresh to me. So, even the traditional aspect of uh, this media is something that I explore. And then, contemporary wise, uh, like using it as a, a sculpture or like using it as uh, less of something that is to be used, because many in the past we, we recognize ceramic as a medium craft and something that we can use it for functional purpose. So I guess in, in both contemporary view of this medium and traditional, I, I didn't really uh, separate it that much. So I, I think I explored in both areas. Like even the traditional inspired me. Contemporary, like contemporary artists around my world right now, they also inspired me the way I uh, produce my work. Uh, from mural works and more political uh, inspiration comes from a lot of activists, historian, and and sometimes uh, my grandparents as well. who told me a lot of stories uh, in the past. So these are the things that I feel that it's very important to uh, look back into to have a. Uh, diverse view of the history of Singapore. So initially when I started with the medium, I I didn't create a lot of works with a lot of ornamentation. I only started then I started to collect a lot of wooden molds, then I make it into plaster molds. So in the, in the very beginning I always like to keep it very minimal and black and white. I don't really like to add on things. And even for the glaze, I don't really want to add on colors. I just want it to be pure white and, and, and black. And I feel that to have that kind of mindset is really because how we look at our daily stuff, our daily uh, functional wear at home. And the teapot that I use is, is very, you know, it's without ornament, it's, it's flat. And when I go to shops, even in uh, a lot of shops, they works are not very heavily ornamental. Oh, I think I'm mean, in the very beginning. I, I think that it's prettier if it's not ornamental. And then once I started to collect, and I, I find that there are a lot of symbolism, symbolism behind all of these uh, molds I collect with a lot of ornaments. And I started to see uh, ornament as uh, something that. Uh, I missed out all along and uh, this helps to make me uh, think back about the think back about my my cultural roots that I I I realized I didn't I, I don't really know enough about because 
because each each different mold I collect, uh, they they have a they have a meaning behind it. So so I always wanted to uh, make a reference to fountain, and um, in the beginning it was it was just about how when I think about the name of the flower being reference to it's very odd because. Um, his name after reference and stuff, yeah, on the queen and 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 another thing is that I realized oh there's something that I can uh, mock about because I think you know uh, referencing a being a parasitic plant being after reference. But as I continue to search about the research about the work and research about the applications of this flower, then I found out more about the native names of the flower. Which is um, a lot of the names uh, included partner. So I went to search about partner and found out that partner means uh, lotus. And I, I think about the history of Singapore as well. It's, uh, in the past, it was uh, Hindu Buddhist, uh, many Hindu Buddhist uh, practices in this region. And I thought that, you know, uh, if I mock it, then I am also mocking the flower and the importance of the flower and how the native uh, view the flower. But instead of instead of laughing at the first I is I I take this opportunity to understand uh, the flower better and, and, and look back to into the history. I look at the flower and I look at the inside and feel like it can be contained with things. Honestly, I think right now when I see it, I would think that it's the Malayan that is actually the fountain. But when I when I thought of making the work, I I never thought of including the Malayan. So so it was really mainly how it can contain the body of uh, water. Then as as I thought of uh, adding this Malayan to it and everything just kind of uh, makes sense that it seems normal to be part of it and how the Malayan itself in Singapore also splash out water and with this I added uh, rose syrup because uh, the, mainly because of this story that um, my dad told me when he was young, his, uh, whenever he visits his great-grandmother, he will always uh, get uh, receive this drink from her. So I, I went on to search more about this new syrup. And I found out it's really a very popular drink in the past, before we even had those uh, coca drink or yos or uh, coca-cola and so on. So, um, and then how this water, uh, this, this rose syrup is it's a very uh, regional drink as well and South Asian and also a Southeast Asia drink so it's the, the addition of this kind of just help to add on to, to remove this aspect of it being the, the idea of it being reference in colonial and also I think to connect Singapore back to this region because we have always been seeing ourselves as unique and different from Southeast Asia countries so I I hope to in, in incorporating this uh, rose syrup to, to to get us uh, to get Singapore more rooted into this region like that's how I feel about um, our, uh, how we view ourselves